We are hours away from Hurricane Milton slamming into Florida, doing untold damage. We just don't know. This hurricane, to me, is uh, it, it's shocking. I don't fully understand it. I don't know how something spawns out of the Gulf of Mexico, travels east, and then over the course of what feels like just hours, because it, it kind of was, turns from nothing into a super powerful Category 5 where the, um, well, the weather anchors in Florida cry on, on TV. And they, and they say things like, Hurricane Milton has, has, is, is reaching the, the mathematical, theoretical limit of what the Earth can possibly produce. That's a lot of social media was saying, oh, we, we, this is so big, we should call it a Cat 6. Well, that's Hurricane Milton. And Milton has already spawned something like 8 or 10 or whatever amount of tornadoes in Florida today. Just, just today. It is astonishing. If you're in Florida, please, for the love of God, evacuate. There's very little time left to do that. The officials in Florida have warned if you don't evacuate and you are in the, the real bad danger zones, your house will be your coffin. So please, if you have family, loved ones that, that aren't evacuating, implore them as best as you can. Everyone needs to be safe. Hurricane Milton is expected to be so powerful, it could forever change Florida's coastline. What the hell's like? What? That is, I don't know. It's crazy to me now. A lot of a lot of people are are, are going to say the standard. Well, that's climate change for you. I mean, it's hurricane season. Hurricanes happen in hurricane season. On the other side, a lot of people are 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 saying, you know, the government has uh, geoengineered these to to be crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I know they're uh, doing cloud seeding. I know they're doing some stuff with lasers. I, I know they're they're dropping um, chemicals into them, causing them to turn and twist and do things. That that's happened. But whether or not Milton is a result of uh, geoengineering, I I obviously I have no idea. But it is. I do know this: Hurricane Milton is expected to be so ferocious, it will cover nearly. Every beach on Florida's west coast and forever change the Sunshine State's coastline. At least 95% of Florida's west coast beaches are forecast to be inundated or continuously covered by ocean water. When the hurricane, predicted to be one of the strongest ever, is expected to make landfall Wednesday, as many still recover from Helene. This is the most severe level of coastal change. Um, the federal agency has warned, that agency being the U.S. Geological Survey, while saying that Milton's waves and surge could cause erosion and overwatch to 100% of the state's beaches. So we are looking at this image here. We have up to five feet of storm surge, which is actually quite, quite dramatic. We're going to actually look at a little video about storm storm surge uh, in, in just a few moments here, but five feet and then eight feet up to 12 feet and then 15 feet where the uh, hurricane is going to hit directly. And I suppose if you're lucky, you're only going to get three feet. Well, I guess there is this very small part of Florida here that doesn't have any real storm surge. But then again, Crazy it is. Like, look at that. It almost looks like two hurricanes. The significance of the coastal change forecast for Milton's impact to the Florida West Coast cannot be overstated. The damage is even worse because communities are more vulnerable to this storm's impacts due to the erosion that occurred recently from Helene. So the 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 one two punch is 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 going to be um it's gonna be more impactful than if it was just a one punch. Imagery from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration after Helene showed Florida's west coast already experiencing overwash and inundation 
and complete erosion of those dunes, meaning protective banks and uh, sand usually along the shoreline no longer exist in many locations. So anything that could have offered any protection has already been gone. It's already been used up. USGS experts forecast a severe level of coastal change that will likely cause flooding behind sand dunes and endanger coastal communities. While the USGS forecast is a worst-case scenario, the agency wrote, the National Hurricane Center has also warned that Milton may bring life-threatening storm surge, hurricane-force winds, and heavy rain specifically to the Tampa Bay region. During an overnight update going into Wednesday, the center noted that Milton was a, a catastrophic Category 5 storm expected to make landfall later that night. The storm was 300 miles southwest of Tampa early Wednesday and sustained winds at 160 miles per hour. Just recently, they were actually 185 miles per hour. That's why everyone was calling for a Cat 6. Hurricane Milton joined a long list of destructive storms that have changed the Florida coastline, including Ian, Irma, Matthew, and Michael. So now about, about the storm surge, right? Look at this little video here. So what does that look like? Well, let's show you. Imagine this. Imagine three feet of storm surge right here. Now, if this amount of water catches you by surprise, it's too late to evacuate. Cars are floating around and floating away. There's large objects in here that could knock things down with a battering ram-like force. Now, there's no way, again, to evacuate with this kind of storm surge. But we know there's going to be places with more than three feet. Imagine... So three feet was, except for that small sliver of coastline that wasn't getting anything, three feet was the minimum. The majority of Florida is getting at least three feet. And that means evacuation is impossible. They're only getting out by fucking canoe at this point. Six feet of storm surge. Now this completely floods out the first floors of homes and businesses and the only way to escape that is to move to the higher floor of a building. Now, unfortunately, there are going to be places that get more than six feet of storm surge flooding. Imagine this, nine feet and even beyond of flooding, of inundation. This is practically not survivable. So please follow the advice of your local officials when they ask you to evacuate. And if you have any questions about what evacuation zone you're in, if you need to go and or where you need to go, Go to floridadisaster.org. And by all means, everybody. Nine feet. Nine feet. That's me plus three feet. I, I can't even fathom it. But now double it. Because it's, it's 15 feet or thereabouts is what they're expecting in, in, in the Tampa Bay area. A, a large swath of coast is going to get 15 feet, maybe more. That's houses just gone. Communities just gone. And we saw this in, in the Carolinas, in Tennessee, in Georgia. Communities are just gone. Just literally wiped out. The water came in and literally wiped them out. We're looking at a lot of that with Florida. So this warning here, Floridians are told to write their name on their leg as final countdown to Hurricane Milton slamming into entire coastline begins. But some diehard risk takers ignore the warning. Stubborn Floridians refusing to evacuate ahead of Milton should write their name on their leg so authorities can identify their body, a police chief has warned. Because I ha as I had said earlier in this video, that uh, Florida officials are saying that if you don't evacuate some of these places, your home will be your coffin. You will die. You're you're staring down death. So if you're if you're going to do that, you may as well make it easy and write your name on your leg. Get a sharpie. Write your name and your social security number so they can easily identify you and and that's that because some of these bodies they're going to be pulling them from all kinds of places from the tops of trees and 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 stuff like that the police chief of Holmes Beach issued a stark warning to residents today telling them if you don't leave you're on your own take a pen 
and write your name and social security number on your leg so that we have a contact if we find you. Because this is not going to end well. Millions of people across Florida are locked in a desperate race against time to evacuate before the storm of the century smashes into the Tampa Bay late tonight. With officials warning that those choosing to stay and ride out Hurricane Milton would be left to fend for themselves. This is police chief remarks. Um, they doubled down on pleas from Tampa Bay Mayor Jane Castor, who has urged locals to evacuate before the 15 feet of storm surge hits the city and, some, and it submerges entire properties. She has repeatedly warned those who are refusing to leave that they could die in their homes. So if you're in it, basically, that's the coffin that you're in, she said flatly. So this is. None of this is hyperbole. We're not we're not joking. It's actually pretty serious. If if you if you are in this area, if you know anyone in this area, uh, please, for the love of God, for the love of all that's holy. Please get out, although. I don't even know if if there's at, at this point making this video, I don't know how much time there is left to even evacuate at that point. Maybe maybe you can't get. Out of Florida. In its entirety, maybe all you can go is inland, where the storm surge won't be 15 feet. Whatever you have to do, please do it. The state is holding its breath as Milton barrels across the Gulf of Mexico and heads for the shoreline with forecasters warning of the prospect of brutal floods and 165 mile per hour winds. Its intensity was downgraded from a Cat 5 to a Cat 4 this afternoon, but the storm has dramatically increased in size and is expected to lay waste to huge swaths of land. It is thought the hurricane could double in size by the time it hits. So it's weird. This thing has, has gone from, from, from nothing to a Cat 5. It's dropped to 4. It's gone back up to 5. Now it's growing. It is just the craziest uh, hurricane I think I have ever seen. The National Guard has also been drafted in to help any residents in um, in difficulty area carrying out 11th hour evacuations amid light flooding as the outer edges of the hurricane caused weather conditions to deteriorate this morning. Um. So yeah. Also, I I wanna I wanna play one upsetting video for you here. This is um. This is going to be a very, very serious time for everybody. Okay. It's literally a life or death situation. And everybody is going to be just raw, just emotion, afraid, panicky, trying to survive. And usually that's when pretty much everything can go wrong. So please, everyone. Keep your heads as cool as possible, but also, and I think most importantly, do keep your humanity. It's easy to lose your humanity in times like this when you're staring down the barrel of, of, of something catastrophic like Milton. Do keep your heads because this video is absolutely, absolutely disgusting. And it is an example of somebody losing their humanity. So watch this. Here we have a state trooper, Florida state trooper. Thirteen, thirteen, just keep asking for it. But it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. That's a dog tied to the fence. Somebody ditched their dog. They tied it to a fence off the side of the highway. And they were like, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's what we do. So Florida Highway Patrol just rescued a dog who was tied to a pole ahead of Hurricane Milton's arrival. Uh, that's an example of somebody losing their humanity. Just, just be kind to... Just be kind to everyone and everything as best as you can in this time. Um, anyways, I guess if you're in Florida, Godspeed. 
And um, I don't know. I love you all. Good luck. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.